Hey Sonic Bros, this is Sonic Pro 8 here and welcome back to another Minecraft video. In this video, I'm going to show you the top 5 Minecraft glitches for Bedrock Edition. Now, these glitches only work for the Bedrock Edition of the game, including the PC, Xbox One, and the Nintendo Switch. Now, uh, keep in mind this video was made in July 2019, so uh, currently all these glitches are working and I would recommend that you would take advantage of these glitches since they're not been patched yet. I also want to point out that there are some glitches that are a lot more useful than others. You can use them in survival or, I don't know, any type of uh, circumstance that you need. But uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's get started with the first glitch. So as you can see, I made this little building for you guys. And um, if we go ahead and go inside, we can see all the five rooms with all the five glitches that I'm going to showcase in this video. So uh, without further ado, if we go to the first glitch here, it's a duplication glitch. So uh, believe it or not, this glitch is actually pretty easy to do. And I believe Mojang, on the recent update, they made a patch note stating that this glitch was patched. But um, I tried it again and it's still working uh, after the update. It's a bit strange. Uh, but um, yeah, so this glitch is pretty simple. It involves a chest, a sticky piston, a, a few... I mean, quite a few redstone repeaters, and I'll tell you why in just a second. Um, the way it works is that you push this button, and um, you want to make sure that all your repeaters are on the fourth tick, so uh, on the last tick here. So um, what you want to do is um, take out the item. So I'll duplicate this diamond, for example, and um, you want to take out the item the second um, that it's about the repeater is about to push the piston. And um, there's a specific timing for this, and uh, it's a bit tricky to begin, but once you get the timing down, you'll pretty much get it all the time. Um, maybe not necessarily the first try, but like the second or third, you'll always get it. Um, so you want to push the button, and as you can see, it's going to bring the current, and it's going to push the piston, and it's basically how it is. Now, I've seen multiple layouts of this, and uh, either there's more repeaters or you know less repeaters. But the thing is, when you don't have enough repeaters, you won't have the time to push the button and then open the chest and be prepared to take the item out before the rest of the repeater pushes the piston. So um, I have a little trick for this. And what I usually do before I start is I stand like around here and I make sure that when I open the chest, I can see, let me just get a little bit more on the left here. You, uh, on the left here, you can see the rest of the repeaters. And the way it's going to work is if I press the button and I go right to the chest. I don't know if you noticed, but uh, you want to take out the item or you want to take out the item um, right before it's going to hit this last repeater here. And the reason why is because once th this repeater goes to this repeater, this is where it pushes the piston, which essentially pushes the chest. So you want to take out the item right before it hits this um, rest on repeater. So if we take this technique, uh, usually, it will actually work. So I take it out, did not do it this time, it was a bit too early. Still too early. So there we go, as you can see, we now have two diamonds and you can keep going until you have like stacks upon stacks. And um, yeah, essentially when you play in a survival world, you can get one diamond and then just take or make this duplication thing and get diamonds upon diamonds and you can easily get like full diamond armor and like everything in just like a matter of minutes. So, um, you know, it's a pretty useful glitch. I used it a few times in my survival world um, and um, yeah, so that was glitch number one. Let's move on to the second one. All right, so the second glitch we have is called a chest through wall. I didn't know what to call it otherwise, but um, as you can see, I have a wall here. Uh, it looks pretty normal, right? Nothing out of the ordinary with this wall. But the thing is, uh, if I go a bit closer, uh, as you can see, 
uh, I'm actually not highlighting the wall anymore. So if I look around, as you can see, there's like this black outline every time you highlight a block. That's always been a thing in Minecraft. But if I look over here, it's not highlighting the block. Maybe here, but like if I go a bit to the center, it's not highlighting the block anymore. And if I right click, it's a chest. Now, um, this is actually pretty simple to do. This is one of the more like simple glitches that uh, I've known for a long while. And like this glitch also works on Java edition. Let me just point that out. And this glitch has been around for so long and so long in fact that I made a video back in 2014 and this glitch was still a thing. Now I made a little room here in the back to show you how it works. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of like a fake wall going on here. So what you want to do is instead of putting um, all spruce planks, I placed two stairs, one facing this way and then the other one facing uh, this way. So when you look from this angle, it looks like an ordinary wall, but it's actually not. The thing is, for some reason, when you have a chest that is uh, this angle, you will clip out of the chest or, or the or the stair and you'll actually be able to highlight the chest. This is actually a cool technique that you can use on like uh, survival servers and not only can you put chests behind the stairs here, you can also like place a lever, a lever or a button or anything. You can like make it so secret that like you can highlight and then it presses a button and it opens up a wall and you know it's all like the things the possibilities you can do with this it's not it doesn't have to be a chest behind the wall there so that is uh pretty much um the glitch number two and i just noticed that when you click on these it actually like i don't know this is strange but yeah this is pretty much glitch number two and uh yeah let's move on to the third one and this one is called an x-ray glitch. Believe it or not, I had an x-ray glitch on my own, but I think it got patched. So I had to look up for another one. So I'll leave the credit into the description as always. So, uh, But most of these glitches I figured out myself, but if not, I'll always provide the credits in the description. So here is the third one. So uh, if you go into this room, you can see this uh, water hole here, but you'll see why in a minute. Uh, if you go down here and open this chest, we have a pig a saddle, and a carrot on a stick. Now, the way this x-ray glitch works is that you want to place uh, some slabs on this level so you can't, like, go underneath. So, uh, simple as that. And once you do that, you can take a pig and ride it with a carrot on a stick. And if you go, if you clip through the, the, the slabs, you can actually see what's around you. So you can see the command blocks there for my next, uh, my next, uh, glitch going on here but um yeah that's the reason why i put a uh a water source here is because with this x-ray glitch you can see the water and uh, it really helps you to find mines and stuff and such uh i tested with ores too but you can't really find ores but uh the next thing you can find if you want to find like a cave or something is look out for water which uh, is like an indicator to to mines so uh that's pretty much how it works and if you want to get out just come back and uh jump out of the pig and uh, there we go. So that's pretty much this x-ray glitch. Um, it's not the best one, but like, as you can see, it kind of, it still gives you like a clear view of what's around you. And uh, yeah. All right, so glitch number four, this is a trident glitch. Uh, you might be wondering how can I glitch and occur with a trident? It's actually pretty simple. So uh, I, I opened up this little section here and it's for this glitch. I mean, specifically, probably. So uh, let me just get ourselves some diamonds here. And uh, this may take a while. So what you want to do, essentially, is you want to fill out your inventory. And you want to get a trident with the loyalty enchant. So um, with this loyalty, if you guys don't know what it is, is, when you throw a trident, it will come right back to you instead of picking it up. So normally when you throw a trident, you have to go and pick it up. But uh, if, you, if it's enchanted with loyalty, you can throw it and it will come right back to you. So, um, let me just wait till it comes back. There we go. Okay, so you want to fill your inventory. So let me just put my trident aside here. There we go. So this may take a little while. And just fill my inventory with uh, uh, diamonds. And, uh, yeah. This would be a lot more um, easier if I had a... Uh, a, a lever instead of a bun, am I right? If we take out this bun and do this, 
See, look, I'm already full. Okay, so uh, the way it works is um, you want to throw the trident and you want to pick something up so that it fills your inventory. So for example, if I throw this stack of dirt on the floor and then grab another stack, as you can see, I'm full. But if I throw my trident, it actually opens up a slot. And that's when you want to pick up the dirt that's on the ground right here, or any other block, for instance. So if we throw, if you throw the trident and we pick up the dirt here, something weird is going to happen with the trident when it comes back. So if you pick it up, wait till it comes back. And if you go to third person here, you can see that the trident is acting a bit strange. And I don't know if you guys can hear right now, but the sound is also glitching up a bit. So the reason why this is happening is because uh, my inventory is full and the trident currently has no slots open for me to catch up. So all it's going to do is just going to like spin around f until I drop something on the ground. And, you know, it's kind of weird because once again, as I mentioned, it kind of like uh, messes up with the audio. But yeah, that's pretty much weird. And you can also kind of see it in first person. It's just going around you. And uh, yeah, so let me just drop something in the ground and that's when the glitch will stop um, happening. So this is why basically it's happening. It's, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's, I mean, it's sort of useless, but you know, I think it's a cool glitch either way. Uh, you can show off to your friends and yeah. So let me just clear my inventory for you guys and uh, let's just uh, move on to the last glitch. All right, so this is called glitching through walls glitch. And this is pretty useful because I figured it out recently by myself and I found it pretty weird and um, it's it involves ender pearls if it isn't obvious enough if you guys remember in uh, my, my top 10 minecraft glitches from java in like 2014 there was a way you can glitch through glass with ender pearls but you know obviously that got patched and here we are in the bedrock edition and I wasn't able to find if anyone else has found this uh, glitch on YouTube. It's kind of strange. I think I'm the first one that's going to showcase this. But um, other than that, it's actually pretty simple. The only condition with this glitch is that you can only do it on ceilings. You can't like throw a ender pearl directly on... Uh, as you can see, if I try, I can't like... See, I can't like um, glitch to the wall. If I try on the bottom, I can't go on the bottom. It only works if you throw the ender pearl on the ceiling. And the timing on this is actually pretty easy. You might miss the first few attempts, but that's normal. Uh, the thing is you want to throw the ender pearl on the ceiling. And as soon as it hits, that's when you want to press the space bar or you want to jump. And believe it or not, you're going to clip through the wall basically every single time. So if I do this, as you can see, it I'm glitched to the, the ceiling. It's easy as that. And if I try again, like on glass here, if I right click and jump the second it hits. Oh, there we go. So I glitched or I clipped through the ceiling. It's it's weird. Um, I guess you can use this glitch if you want to like if you spawn at the end and you want to uh, clip through the, the ceiling and want to get to the ender dragon faster instead of mining up. You can always use this ender pearl technique and uh, it's simple as that and uh, I'm having a bit of trouble. Okay, hold on. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why glass is harder for some reason. Okay. So uh, that's pretty much it for the glitches. Hope you guys enjoyed. And um, hopefully you guys find some of these glitches useful. And uh, yeah, as always, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.